Yo guys, what is up? It is Teachers Game 2 coming at you again with another video, and I'm going to show you in this video how to make recipes. Now, I'm also going to show you how to make the OP burger. Now, for those of you who are like, what is that? Wait till the end, I'll show you how to make it. It's really awesome, and I kind of work you up step by step on how to make the best recipes, what to do, stuff like that, things across that line. Now, that being said, I apologize if I sound a little bit nasally and sick. I literally am. It's the beginning of the school year, and that's kind of the stuff that happens. So that's just, you know, how it works. So I suppose there's a lot worse things, but I'm not super upset about it. Now, that being said, this video is kind of meant to teach both noobs and people that have done it quite a bit how to make these recipes. So I'm going to show you how to do it step by step and what you can do and some little tips on combining recipes, stuff like that. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and check it out. So we're going to start with two different types of recipes. One, spoiled meat. Some of you are like, that's not good. Oh, it's not good for you to eat. However, if you see a beach bob or anyone passed out or you knock somebody out, go ahead and feed them one of these. Now, I'll show you what these are. This is the death sauce. I usually cover this thing totally in dark, so it looks kind of scary looking too. Name it the death sauce. <clears throat> now, it's not super yummy. However, look at this. Negative 3,000 stamina, negative 5,000 health, and 600 food. So basically, it's pretty much a guaranteed kill unless somebody has a ton of med brews on them, which is really awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out just to show you the comparison. And we're going to toss in some aggravatic mushrooms. Obviously, if you throw them in, like right now, you can't see because it just does that. The game's kind of weird when it does that. This makes a phenomenal food. You'll notice my... I still have my focal chili. I should probably tell you why I have that on real quick. So for those of you that don't make recipes really, anyways, I gotta make sure I can see it. But um, with focal chili, the point of it is actually pretty simple. Uh, it actually increases your crafting speed. So if you're ever crafting something or trying to make something better, always take a focal chili because it'll increase like, I don't know, it's like 50%-ish, give or take, which is pretty awesome. Now, you can see, there's the note. There's our mushrooms. We're going to go ahead and make the recipe. Now, I'm going to go ahead and name this mushroom. What? We're going to call it mushroom burger. Why not? That sounds interesting. Now, you can make this all fancy. I usually don't because for me, it's like I don't really care that much. We're going to make it look cool, though, just for the first time. So you can see what I'm talking about there. Looks disgusting, actually. But you see the point. So with these aggravatic mushrooms, check this out. 500 food almost. Almost 1,000 stamina and 240 health. Agravatic mushrooms are awesome. So these two still are not the best recipe, but you can see where I'm going with this. You can make some really OP stuff. <clears throat> now, again, for those of you that aren't able to achieve this, one of the things you want to look for is basically if you look in my inventory, I have mind wiped and made all of my points into crafting speed. 1,140 because I'm a level 105, and you can make some awesome stuff. So now I'm going to talk, talk about the splitting method real quick. So if I put 20 meat in there and I make a recipe, I'm going to call it the meat sandwich. Meat sandwich. Now I'm just going to make it. I'm not going to color it because I just want to show you guys how to do this. Check this out. 210 health, almost 300 food, and 20 stam. Now that doesn't, it's not nearly as good as the acrobatic mushroom. I understand that. But here's the thing. It's cheap. It's easy to make. Now, here's what's really nice. And really, how much do you actually need if you think about it? Do you need this much? If you do, yeah, make that. But if you only use 10, <clears throat> we're going to call this the, I was going to say the McDouble, but I feel like that's kind of like copyright issues. So we're going to go and go half sandwich. Half sandwich. Now, there's the 10, just so you can see. Half sandwich still does what I need at 105 health, 143 food, and that 10 stamina. That's a really good sandwich. Now, obviously, there's your sandwiches. Now, we need to make water, too. Two types of mushroom. I mean, not mushrooms, but berries. So you got mijo berries, you got tinto berries, and then you've got your aquatic mushrooms. Now, we're going to go ahead and make aquatic mushrooms first because it looks like they're going to spoil the fastest. And what you do, go ahead and take your aquatic mushrooms, throw them in there. Now, this is 100 obviously. 44 seconds. We're going to call this the mushroom smoothie. That sounds disgusting, but oh well. Now, in order to change it from a food to a drink, 
which aims it more towards a water purpose. Click on it. Now we can call this or do whatever you want here. We're going to go and make it brown because it's mushroom. There we go. We're going to make that recipe. Now take these guys out. Look at this. Almost 2,000 water. Almost 2,000, which is crazy good. Almost 100 health and 1,000 stamina as well. So let's compare it. So here's my berries. I'm going to go ahead and throw in those Tinto berries first. We're going to call this, we've got to go to drink again. I'm going to go ahead and make it red so we can see the difference here. We're going to call this red smoothie. Now, a lot of people are like, why don't you just make one? It doesn't make sense to make a whole bunch. Sometimes you don't have the mushrooms, or sometimes you don't have berries. <clears throat> so what you want to do is you want to have different types of stuff so you can make different things. Now, you can see nowhere near as good. I ran out of focal chili on that one. So let's go and redo that with the focal chili just to show you how much different it is. Perfect timing, actually. Make red smoothie. <clears throat> Drink one, two. We're going to make a little bit different looking just because. Why not? That we know there's a difference. So here's the difference between one and no focal chili, 219, 239, 96. So you can see it's about 10 to 20 percent better. Not bad. So this is what you can get with Tinto berries. 240 water, 100 health, and 100 stamina. Not bad. Now let's check out the Miho berries. I'm gonna go ahead and toss these in here too because I don't need them. Make the recipe. Call it the purple, ooh, purple, <laughs> purple smoothie. Put that on the drink guy there. And go ahead and make it purple, just like you see there. Now, as you can see, a little bit better. Look at this, 96 health, 239, 96, 334, 96, 96. So, purple berries are typically a little bit better than the other types. That was the big reason I wanted to show you this, is because you can actually see the difference right there. Now, purple smoothie, still nowhere near as good as the red, I mean the um, mushroom smoothie, <clears throat> which actually has a ton of water. Now, as you can see, these are some really OP methods that you can use. Now, there are other things you can do. You can go over to your little refrigerator, come up with a whole bunch of different types of things that you can do, and check this out. You can start to combine things to make really the ultimate recipes. So I'm going to go ahead and split half of this, just so you can see. There's half. Split half again. There's 50 and 50. Now, when you start to combine things is when you get the really OP stuff. So we're going to call this the berry shroom combo. Now, again, because they're the water stuff, make a water out of it. Now you can color this whatever you want, something fancy looking. Why not? Very shroom combo. Now I want to go ahead and take these guys and put them over. Look at this. 1,120 water, almost 600 stamina, I mean 550 stamina, and then 100 health. That's a good recipe and it's really not that expensive if you think about it either. Now you can do the same thing with meat. We're going to go ahead and split this stack. We're going to wait <clears throat> for this to spoil in 15 seconds, but you can do the same thing with meat and then the mushrooms, the agravatic mushrooms. We're gonna, go, we're gonna do a really weak one on this one. 25, maybe, because it's not gonna let me. There we go, 25, <clears throat> spoil, please. There it goes, split stack. We're gonna do 25 and 10 and then a recipe. Check this out. So we've got 25 agravatics, 10 raw meats, and we're gonna call this Superman sandwich. You'll see why in a second here. Sandwich. Boom. Now, Superman sandwich. You don't need that much stuff to make this, but look at this. Super cheap. You've got the food, almost 400, 230 health, and then 500 stamina. So not only are you getting the ability to get your food and stamina totally up consistently, but you're increasing your health just like a med brew, which is really oh. P. I can't I can't say that enough. Now let's go ahead and show you what you do if you mix a couple of these mushrooms with a couple of things of meat. We're gonna go and split the stack here, split the half, split the half, put it in there, make recipe. You can see water. There's that. We're gonna call this water burger. Not like water burger, water burger. <laughs> now you're not gonna get any water out of this, which is kind of like the negative side of things. But you do get a really good amount of stamina. 
not as good, but still, you can see what I'm trying to do here. You can basically test all these different types of things. You used to be able to put element dust in these and just get some really, really OP recipes. However, obviously, can't do that anymore, unfortunately. But look at this. You can make yourself some really awesome stuff. Even some stuff you can feed to beach bobs and absolutely smoke them, which is kind of fun. Now, you can have all different kinds of recipes. A lot of people are like, oh, I use crops. I do this. I do that. Why don't you? I don't like crops because, in my opinion, I'd rather use my crops to make my consistent types of kibbles. But that's my personal opinion. You don't have to do that. Now, obviously, as you can see, there's tons of this stuff right here. You can choose any combination. Let's say we want to mix a whole bunch of different stuff. This is just an example. I'm going to put one note in there. We're going to just toss in a bunch of random stuff. Boom, boom, boom. Why not? Boom, why not? Now, you can make some stupid OP stuff using this. We're just going to call this the OP Burger in all caps. <clears throat> now, the OP Burger. 2,000 food. 2,100 stamina and 700 health. If you wanted to, you could easily use these as rating duels. So, the OP burger, obviously it costs a lot, but if you think about it, it's not that bad. You just have to go collect things for about 20 minutes. You can make like 40, 50 OP burgers, and that's 730 health. 2100 food, and 2100 stamina. So this is the OP burger. Obviously, I waited to last to make it because I wanted to show you some of the things you can do. You can also tinker with the stuff, like cut the mijo berries in half, cut this stuff in half, and you can still get half of this, which still means you're getting 1,000 food, 1,000 stamina, and 350 health, but you can make double the amounts of burgers. Now, the really cool thing about these is they last really long as well. So let's say I was to put the red smoothies in here, and I wanted to make some of those. <clears throat> I would be able to, I guess, I can't make them here, but still, you get the point. You could make them if you wanted to, and uh, it, it's really an OP thing. It's super nice to have right there. You can see I have all I need, good to go. Super easy to make. Now, that OP burger is a lot of fun, but it's up to you if you want to spend the resources to get it. So hopefully this little guide helped you out. There's lots of different things that you can do in order to make really OP stuff which you kind of got to explore on your own. In my personal opinion, I always have death sauce laying around. I always have some form of the OP burger as my med brews because it's, it really is crazy how much you can get from these things. I'll have some sort of cheap, um, some cheapo berry shroom combo because you get a good amount of water from it. And then I'll usually have some mushroom burgers with just the aggravatics because that's awesome stuff. All right, hopefully this little video helped you out and uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any other requests or anything, don't feel afraid to mention them. And again, thank you for all the support, guys. It has been phenomenal. I'm already almost up to 6,000 subs, and that's as of right now. I keep, I want to keep making vids because I enjoy making them. I love the videos. I love all this stuff, and you guys have been nothing but supportive. So much appreciated and much love. So other than that, Teacher's Game 2, out.